In order to begin the process of bathroom floor repair, you will need to first check for any evidence of water damage. The best way to spot a leak is to look for discolored stains and areas of uneven flooring. Also, look to see what color the water is, clear or darker? If the water is clear, it means there is no water in the area. If the moisture is dark, it means there is a problem. A professional plumber will be able to diagnose the source of the water and then repair the floor. They will also have the right tools to complete the job. A professional plumber will also have a powerful water pump to extract the water from the affected area. Before hiring a plumbing contractor, be sure to get a written estimate so that you can compare costs. If the water damage is not caused by a leak, you should consider replacing the floor. While a water-damaged bathroom floor can be easily fixed, there are other factors that need to be taken into consideration. The first step is to ensure that the affected area has been completely dried. If the affected area isn't completely dry, you may need to replace the entire area. In addition to replacing the floor, you will need to replace any subfloor that has been damaged by water. If the subfloor is wooden, it is best to replace it. You'll also need to make sure that you follow the guidelines for subflooring. Having a professional come in and perform a bathroom floor repair can be a great idea if you are unable to do it yourself. It is a quick and affordable way to prevent further water damage in your bathroom. You can also hire a professional if you're unsure of the best approach for your situation. But before you begin the process, it's important to check for any signs of mold or mildew. In some cases, you may have to replace the entire floor. If you've already installed laminate flooring, you can find signs of water damage in the glue that holds the boards together. If your floor is warped, this can be a sign that there is hidden water damage, which will have to be fixed as soon as possible. The first step is to remove the damaged laminate flooring. It should be thoroughly cleaned, and then you can proceed with the repairs. Regardless of the cause of water damage, it's important to act quickly. You'll need to remove any damaged baseboards and access the subfloor area. This is not an easy task, so it's important to wear safety gear and have a plan in place. Once you have the subfloor area accessible, you'll need to cut down the bathroom floor covering. After cutting through the flooring, you'll need to remove the baseboards underneath the affected areas. You'll want to make sure you're aware of any other areas of water damage. Mark the areas with tape or a pencil. Once you've marked all the damaged locations, you'll need to measure the distance from the rotten joists to the attachment points. When the water damage is hidden, you'll need to fix it immediately. It's best to call in a professional to do the work. The best water damaged floors should be waterproofed. If you don't, the water damage can lead to a dangerous bathroom ceiling that will be hard to remove. If you don't want to deal with the mess, you'll need to hire a waterproofing specialist. Before you begin the process of bathroom floor repair water damage, you'll need to make sure that the toilet is dry. This will prevent further bathroom water damage from occurring. You'll also need to make sure the flooring is waterproof. If it isn't, it might be time to hire a professional. If it was accidentally flooded, the water damage was accidental. Otherwise, it may be caused by negligence or intentional sabotage. The next step in bathroom floor repair water damage is to fix the subfloor, which is also commonly called the subfloor. The subfloor beneath the bathroom flooring is usually made of plywood, which is not waterproof. The area around the toilet is especially vulnerable to water damage. Therefore, the subfloor beneath the bathroom flooring must be repaired as quickly as possible to prevent the damage from worsening. You should also check for any mold growth in the area.